blockchain. You hear it everywhere, but do you really know what it is? Or more importantly, why do we need it? To put it simple, blockchain can be seen as an innovative layer of trust on top of the internet. And we use internet every day for almost anything. An innovative layer of trust that is more secure and much cheaper than we are used to. My name is Arjan Eiklebo, and I would like to tell you some more about blockchain. Not by diving deep into the tech, because there are thousands of videos like that online, and to be honest, most people still don't get it. I want to highlight the why and how. In this first of two videos, I will touch the basics of blockchain applications. In the second video, I will show you which ones has the best cards for the future. There we go. Everything we put and find online is stored on massive centralized databases. Most of these centralized databases are maintained by one single authority. When such a database gets hacked or destroyed by a storm, a fire or other disasters, access to all data can be lost in an instant, lost forever. On blockchain, nothing will ever be lost, never. Apart from the security the blockchain offers, all of the data on a blockchain is stored in a decentralized way. Not just one single database, but thousands of mini independent databases scattered all over the world. Let's have a look at how banks work and have been working for decades. Every bank keeps track of every single transaction the bank makes with other banks, many other banks. The other banks are also keeping track of the very same records. This is not only extremely expensive, it also takes a lot of time and people to make sure that all records are synced. Not very efficient, is it? Blockchain can offer a way of more efficient ways to do this. Let's take JP Morgan Chase, for instance. JP Morgan is responsible for keeping track of how much money is in all of its customers' accounts. With the blockchain database, the ledger is kept and updated communally by all the computers that are part of the blockchain network. And because all of the records on the blockchain are kept communally, no one computer or institution is in charge. If any of or even several computers keeping the records is hacked or knocked offline, the other computers can go on without it. No data will be lost. But why is it called a blockchain? In the original documents describing Bitcoin, which was the first blockchain, this innovative database was not referred to as a blockchain. It got that name over time because all of the transactions coming onto the network were put into blocks of comprised data and then chained together. Imagine a digital high-rise building made of blocks of data and every few minutes a new floor is added to this high-rise building. This is what occurs in a blockchain and the data in each block are many, many transactions created by users of the blockchain network. This way of storing data is called a digital ledger. Every single transaction in this ledger is authorized by the digital signature of the owner. This signature authenticates the transaction and safeguards it from tampering. And this is what makes the information on the digital ledger so secure. The digital ledger is like a spreadsheet, shared among hundreds or even thousands of computers in a network in which the transactional records are stored. And what I think is so fascinating is that anybody can see this data, but they cannot corrupt it. No one. The data will be there forever, unchanged. One can only add new data. Let me summarize a little bit. Blockchain is a system of recording information in a way that makes it difficult or even impossible to change, to hack, or even to cheat the system. Call it a self-governing digital protocol that can potentially eliminate expensive and time-consuming third parties that we need now for authorization and approvals. An innovative layer of trust on top of the internet. 
The other plus side of blockchain are the costs in transaction and governing. It's almost zero. Instead of hundreds of dollars, now to less than a cent with blockchain. So, a blockchain is a digital ledger of transactions distributed across the entire blockchain network. Each block in the chain contains a number of transactions, and every time a new tran transaction occurs on the blockchain, a record of that transaction is added to every participant's ledger. We call this Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT. I am speaking about transactions here. That will probably make you think that blockchain can only be used in the financial industry. While that is the one industry that sees many benefits, other industries, industries like gaming, gambling, entertainment, healthcare, transportation, supply chain and media are starting to see opportunities as well. Mind you, a transaction is in fact data uh, being shared between two or more parties. And that data can be anything, like legal agreements, patients' data in healthcare, or text messaging, like you do all day on your phone, and much, much more. We are still in the early days of distributed ledger technologies, where expectations are high, but use and actual utility is still very low. But that is changing. It is almost certain that blockchain, and do not forget, cryptocurrencies will have a major impact on literally every industry. A blockchain network has no central authority. The information in it is open for anyone and everyone to see. Anything that is built on a blockchain is by its very nature transparent and everyone involved is accountable for their actions. It is more secure than anything we know or are used to in a digital lifetime. Blockchain can be used in almost any imaginable industry, saving time and money, adding trust. It is an innovative layer of trust on top of the internet. Well, I hope this was helpful. Please join me next time.